Hi neighbors, my name is Hannah. Welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hippie Me. And today is just a vlog. Yes, I'm going shopping, but it's not gonna be a normal vlog, like shopping vlog, like where I'm like reviewing a store and stuff. I just, I'm on my week off. <laughs> um, I took a week off from work and volunteering so that I could just relax because I haven't done that <laughs> for a while. <laughs> I recently filmed my Old Navy video, which will go up before this one and I have a bunch of time off and I'm sitting at home and I'm like, you know, I gotta go back for one of those dresses. So I'm gonna go back to Old Navy and then while I'm out, I'm gonna like look around, scope out some deals and definitely go to Starbucks and just enjoy. So if you wanna see a random daily vlog, stick around. I'm probably gonna also go to Ulta. We're just, we're just gonna see what happens, okay? No pressure, it's my week off. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, bye, see you, not bye. Welcome, hello, let's begin. First thing I did at the mall was go to Starbucks, which I haven't done for a while. I got my favorite drink and then I noticed that they had this like just nice little table with a poster that said make someone smile and people had written a bunch of positive affirmations on it. So I just thought that was cute and I wanted to show you guys. It's about noon, I got my go-to Starbucks which is hot, what did I just get? I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, it's a Grande Cafe Mocha. <laughs> and fun fact, the last time I was at the mall for the old, old Navy video, I'm using the same entrance. I walked all the way around the mall. <laughs> the entire mall, I walked all the way through the first floor, couldn't find Old Navy, went down to the bottom floor, walked all the way back, couldn't find Old Navy, <laughs> and then I found it right underneath the escalator, right by the entrance <laughs> to the mall that I used. I just, if I had just gone down the escalator, I would have found it. Like, there's the entrance that I used, there's the escalator, and over there in the corner, there's Old Navy. <laughs> it's like hiding underneath. <laughs> like, whatever, I got my steps in, but if I was a little tired in that video, that's why. <laughs> As soon as I got to Old Navy, I made a beeline for my favorite dress from the recent Old Navy video I just did. I remembered right where it was at the front of the store. Oh yes, okay. They still have my size. I had to come back for this dress. I was, it's so pretty. I don't know if it's on sale though. Oh, $50 is a lot for an Old Navy dress, damn it. Mm, they're having a good amount of sales right now, but that's like one of the few things that's not on sale and I cannot do $50 for this dress. That sucks. It's like everything except for this is on sale. At first I thought I would have to leave it behind. That is super sad and it's something that I want, but I'm low on money right now. And there's a difference between like treating myself and buying something that is gonna come back to bite me. To distract myself and just for exploration purposes, I went over to check out the clearance section. Because the Old Navy body quality size changes is so recent, there was not really very much on clearance in sizes 2x, 3x, 4x, etc. But hopefully within about six months we'll start to see some more of that. The clearance prices are a little higher than I thought they would be. Old Navy is not the only brand that does this, but they have a lot of stuff that's like 15 or $20 over here in the clearance, which to me, like, I'm not here for the deals, I'm here for the steals. Or if they have stuff that is under $10, it is ugly. <laughs> Sorry, but not even for $8 am I doing this striped t-shirt dress. Especially because it's Old Navy quality and like, inconsistent fit and a bunch of issues that I have with Old Navy. I'm not trying to spend a lot of money on stuff, especially stuff that's out of season and generally unpredictable, I guess you could say. And I don't really want to do a whole dressing room thing right now, so I don't really want to try stuff on unless it's like amazing and I'm like, wow, I need to have this. I might not even get anything here. It's a shame about that dress. I'm going to ask an employee just in case. 
guys, I got the dress. <laughs> and it's crazy. Um, so the, the dress was not on sale. This shift lead was ringing me up and I was telling her I had looked for it online earlier today because I was like not sure if I wanted to go out. And online they had an overall sale on the website for 35% off. And I was like, you know, maybe we can order it online. I couldn't find it online, but maybe you can. And so she was looking and the dress does not exist online. <laughs> She was looking for like five minutes and there was like a line forming and I felt kind of bad and all of a sudden she looks up at me and she's like, do you want it for half off? And I was like, yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so she gave it to me for half off because it's an older style. She was like, yeah, it doesn't exist on the website, which makes no sense. It should still exist or at least if it doesn't exist, it should be on sale in the store because it's older. So we have all these half off sales. You obviously love it. If you love it, I'll give it to you for half off. So I got the dress for 25 and then I got a one piece swimsuit that is very interesting with like a cutout. I didn't try it on, but I'm saving it for next summer. That was like $8 or something. And a little crop top with an army print also for $8. So now I'm going to JCPenney gonna stomp around my old stomping grounds and see what kind of deals I can get there. Again, we're looking for steals, not deals here. Don't have that kind of money. Okay, I'm back in my car and as most of you may have already guessed, uh, I didn't really find anything at JCPenney. Usually I hit street, huh? <laughs> Usually I hit a home run at JCPenney and like get something but uh not so today i also checked out rue 21 because they were having super clearance on their plus stuff and there was this pair of pants i wanted to try on and a couple of tops but their fitting room was closed so not today now i'm gonna go to ulta which is right across the street from here i just saw in a facebook ad that lane bryant is having 40 percent off their clearance and there's a lane bryant right next to this ulta I might need to go check it out. <laughs> I hate my local Lane Bryant, but when it's 40% off clearance, I can at least stop in and get a bra or something. We'll see. I have so little money right now, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm just trying to have fun and enjoy my week off. All right, Ulta, just get the necessities. Stay focused. First of all, I got to pick up a refill of the e.l.f. Hydrating Serum because I really love that underneath my makeup. I was watching a video that Robert Welsh did answering questions sent in by subscribers and your makeup can sit funny on your face if you over hydrate, like if you have a moisturizer that's too heavy under your makeup, he was saying. And I think that that is something that I have experienced. And I was having a good experience putting a serum under my makeup instead of a full-on moisturizer. So I'm definitely going to go pick that up. Also, I need a new brow product that just is a little faster and a little more natural than the one I've been using recently. I've picked up a few that have been duds, meaning just the wrong color. So this time I'm going in there with naked brows, showing the world how sparse they truly are. I'm gonna try to get a product that is hopefully a better color match this time. I've never tried ColourPop brow products before, but their soft black color looks right for me. I just kind of swatched it on my hand and it looks to me like what my brows naturally look like. Pencil is only $7, so I figure I'll give it a shot this time. So I'm back after going to Ulta and I am really excited because I had $8 of like Ulta points or whatever. So my order came down from $20.20 to $11.70. So it was like basically getting this brow product for free. I want to just give this a try while I'm here in the car before I go, just to make sure the color is okay. See if I can do this with one hand. I think it's supposed to mimic the Fenty brow pen or brow pencil with a very fine tip. Going the wrong way. Am I spinning it? Ah, ha, 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 I was. This has been like a secret background journey that I've been going on. I haven't really talked about on my channel, but I've been working on finding another brow product for like a month. So far, it's pretty good. It's not a bad color match. I just want to fill it in. Yeah, see out here, I'm too oily. It's not gonna catch. But for the parts where it will, it's an okay match. My ends are so sparse compared to the inner parts of my brow. That's really what I want. It's just to fill in the sparseness 
and move the arch of my brow over a little bit. Okay, not bad. Okay. Not amazing, but like could be worse. See if combing it through helps a little. Okay. Fine on this side, tried on this side, and <laughs> no luck. But at least the color seems to be okay. That's a step in the right direction. And that's what I can ask for when I'm already on the road and already oily. All right, let's go to Lane Bryant and see what's there. I have no expectations, but you never know unless you look. So, you know, let's just give it a shot. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> there's Lane Bryant and then right next to it, there's a torrid moving in. I am so freaking excited. <laughs> Guys, I'm so happy. <gasps> oh my God. There hasn't been a Torrid near me. I have to drive an hour to go to any Torrid. So now thank God they're moving in right next to the Lane Bryant, <laughs> right next to the mall and the Target. Oh my God, I'm thrilled. Yay, guys, I can do so many more Torrid videos now. Thank Jesus, thank you, God. Oh, I'm so excited. It doesn't say when they're opening, but I'm so excited. Oh, oh my God. So I went into Lane Bryant and it was uneventful enough that I didn't even take any vlog footage. I was really looking for a bra, but they only had one in my size and it was a little more than I wanted to pay. They also had changed up the layout of the store so the clearance was in several racks throughout the floor, which was weird to me. But on a positive note, I really appreciated the little mask stand at the front of the store. Okay, that was quick. Uh, I didn't really find anything exciting at Lane Bryant. They didn't have very much clearance on the floor, and what they did have was just not really much in my size. I'm almost like a little bit shocked at the lack of size 2018 or 22, like those kind of mid-range <laughs> sizes. But hey, if you need a lot of 26s and 28s, the clearance rack is the area to go, I think. It was worth it to come over here just to find out that the Torrid is moving in. I'm still, I'm over the moon about that, guys. I cannot wait. So with the Torrid moving in and the Old Navy selling stuff in my size, like, what more do I need? You know, what more does a girl like me need? <laughs> now I think I'm headed home. I'm, I've done enough shopping. I feel like I got that energy out. I need to clean my car. I need to eat lunch, I need to see my boyfriend, because it's my day off, and he has the day off as well. If anything else ensues that is vlog worthy, I'll let you know. Okay, I am home sweet home. I took off my makeup and did my like nighttime skincare. We're chilling, and I'm making a lunch. A little toasted cheese sandwich, and some tomato soup, which is forthcoming. So that's... That's the afternoon here. My soup came out of the microwave with this nice little design in it that kind of looks like a flower. I'm sure it's oil that needs to be mixed in or something, but I just think it's kind of cute. So I've been working on trying to rest more, which is hard for me because I tend to overextend myself and overcommit. But I've been spending my evenings watching my boyfriend play Pokemon Crystal something for his new Twitch channel that he started. And it's been really fun. If you want to follow and kind of watch along with me, his channel is called Moam Plays Retro. If you want to follow, no pressure. But it's been fun and I'm sure there'll be another game too. We finished out the day by making some chocolate chip cookies for our neighbors who had recently gone through some things and needed some love. Also, we were listening to the Come From Away soundtrack. If you haven't seen that musical, it's excellent. Watch it, or listen to it at least. So that's the vlog, kind of a day in my life while I was on my little staycation. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back to normal Fashion Friday content starting next week, and I hope you're watching the new makeup videos I've been uploading as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you and your time and the fact that you're spending your time here with me. So much love, bye. Also like, like and subscribe if you like this video and if you wanna see more. Okay, thanks, bye.